Hello, candidates. Once again, my name is William Sinikweli. Going to teach P7 class, mathematics. Hope you are doing very well over there. Uh, last time, uh, we had, in terms of finite system, we had multiplication in finite system. And I left you with some few numbers to work out. And if I go to the activity I gave you, the first instruction was multiply using a dial. And I want to just take only this opportunity to have uh, only part one. Then we shall also go to the other second instruction, which was saying uh, use calculation method. Then you will judge yourself before we go to the next lesson. So this was multiplied this uh, four times five, uh, five at six using a dial. We say the dial is like a clock face. That's why sometimes we call it a clock arithmetic. So I remember you still know how uh, to the digits that are used in finite six, whereby we have zero, we have one, we have two, three, four. You cannot go beyond five, and you cannot go to six. Are you there? So we said, if we are multiplying this, you first interpret it. Before you interpret it, it may not be easy for you. How is it interpreted? We said these are four laps. Somebody can call them jumps. These are four laps of fives. What does it mean? We shall move laps as we count. They will be four, but each lap will be covering five. Okay? So, follow properly. When you go back to the examples that I gave you. The starting point is zero. The first lap is going to start from... Zero, then we count four, it will, we count five, then we shall have covered the first lap. So it will be one, two, three, four, five. So our first lap will cover up to here. And we shall call this one first lap. Whatever you may call it. We need to keep on counting until we reach where they have told us, until we cover the five of them. I mean four of them. The second lap to cover five, to run from five, where but it's one, two, three, four, five. The second lap is going to cover up to four. This is the second lap. But how many laps are we making? Four of them. The third lap is running from four. We count one, two, three, four, five. It is running from four. up to three here. So this is the third lap. But I've said, please, you have to make four of them. Each lap must cover five. We start from here. One, two, three, four, five. So the last lap is running from three. It moves, it moves until it reaches this point. So. We look at our, we highlight where the last lap has stopped. I've said these are four laps of fives. Each lap must cover five, as you've been watching. The first lap, I had to identify it by putting it first. If you don't, they are not easy to be counted, my friend. That's why I was highlighting them and naming them first, second, third. And we said this was the last. Because they have told us there must be four of them. But the four lap, or the last lap, ended at two. So we just summarize it and say, if I have four times five, my answer is what I have highlighted on the dial as two, and this is finite six. Hope very many children, candidates, you must have done this one very well. So allow me also to answer one of the next instruction which was saying 
Use calculation method. Use calculation method. Allow me to to are saying use calculation method. This time not dial. That's why we said mathemat you enjoy mathematics depending on the methods, many methods you, somebody can apply and you get the same answer. Here, by the way, when you remember, we are giving both methods, dial method and calculation method. In every, in every example, if you can recall properly, it was calculation method, dial method. Depending on the examples I gave you last time. But this time, I'm just going using only one. So, I'm also going to the second instruction, calculate, use calculation method. And I'm going to deal with the Roman 2. If you can call Roman 2, which was saying 5 squared. And what was the finite? Or oh, what was the mod? This was finite 8. Finite or oh, mod 8. But here we are going to use calculation method. How can it be handled? Hope you've passed it. Why? I think it was the simplest. Five squared means five times five, okay? Finite, eight. What is five times five? Somebody's giving me 25, but we cannot have 25 in finite eight. What do we do? We divide. We divide by eight. Find at eight. What do we come up with? Divide very fast. Use the head. Somebody saying eight goes in twenty-five, five, four times. Is it four? No. Somebody saying three because when you get eight times three, it gives twenty-four. So we shall have three times. It goes three times, but three times eight gives twenty-four. So what is our remainder? Our remainder is one. Finite eight. Okay? So finally we shall have our interest is the remainder. Our interest is the remainder here. So we can come back and say 5 squared is equal to 1. And this is finite. 8. Okay? And uh, that was calculation method. I told you this in this, if I use calculation method, that means I'm also able to even use a dial method. But for the purposes of time, please try to watch those who use the dial in the other first instruction. Please see and watch for the examples I gave, plus one I've gone through. Those who use the calculation method in instruction two, please watch and follow the examples that were given. They will give you the right picture of the whole activity that I gave you. You'll be able to mark the right thing, not the wrong one. Are you there? Now, today's lesson, as uh, finite system is concerned, we go through, we use all the operations. We began with addition, we went to subtraction. Now, the previous was multiplication. Allow me today to take you to division. Okay? How is division used? How can it be done? in finite system. Hope you are going to watch and enjoy. Listen carefully and watch. Division, uh, the way we use division in other uh, topics and whatever, it may not be far from how we shall use this one. Uh, allow me to take you through examples direct if I have my first example, which is saying divide. Somebody saying five divided by three. And they're saying equals dash finite, finite seven. How can this one be done using division? Now, when you look at the five is not a multiple of three. In other words, cannot divide it completely. So we say we shall deal with remainders. This is not the case in the division. So what do we do? We want to find a figure which will occupy here, and it is a multiple of three. That means it must divide the three completely. No remainder. How is it done? So we shall have five 
So we again come to the finite. If you add this 5 plus 7, does it give you a multiple of 3? By the way, 5 plus 7, what do you get? 12. Is 12 a, a multiple of 3? Somebody saying yes. That means it can divide the 3 completely. There we have reached where we want, by the way. So in this case, we can divide it by 3. Equals dash. Somebody saying finite. 7. So this will give us 12 divided by 3. And the answer, somebody should give us the answer. 12 divided by 3. Somebody saying 4. Very correct. Finite, 7. How do we summarize this one? can say, therefore, if I have 5 divided by 3, the final answer is 4, and this is finite 7. I think division can be the simplest <laughs> in all operations using finite system. Division can be the simplest. As long as you are ready to even watch other examples, I want you to enjoy this. Uh, in most cases, we find that there are other methods that can be applied. But I'm going to apply the second method on the second example. Then for you, you will go back to the first one, see whether you will apply the different method. So somebody is telling us to work out. Work out 3 divided by 4. Uh, somebody saying equals dash and this is mod 5. Remember how I keep on changing finite mod clock, whatever. Don't get confused. Uh, allow me this time to use a method which is called equivalent. I'm using another method now. Equivalent whole numbers. Equivalent whole numbers uh, divided by. In the case they will be divided by, which figure? Divided by four. I'm not going to use the other method. Let me use the method called using equivalent whole numbers. How is it done, my friend? If I'm to divide three by four equals uh, dash mod five. So, that means I will begin with my 3, then I add 5. So, 3 plus 5, what do you get? That means the next equivalent fraction is 8. I'm saying I started with 3. So, now I went to 3 plus 5. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a digit. It is like the other one. I'm looking for any multiple of 4. In other words, a number which will divide 4 completely. If I reach there, you tell me you have reached. Somebody is saying, hey, teacher, you have reached. But it does not matter even if you continue, then you come back and look for the smallest number that can be easily or exactly divisible by 4. Somebody can say, now, after 8, we continue adding 5, you get 13. These are all equivalent. Then 13 plus 5, somebody saying 18. 18 plus 5, somebody saying it is 23. And many others. But now we come back to our list of equivalent to whole numbers. I'm sorry, there is a mistake somewhere. Equivalent, not whose, but whole numbers. Somebody has observed this mistake, but hope you have corrected it, okay? Thank you so much. These are equivalent whole numbers in finite five. But why do we do this? We are looking for any whole number that can divide four completely. Can it be three? Somebody saying no, teacher. Can it be eight? Yes. What about the rest? No. But if we continue moving, we can find others. But this time, we cannot move further if we still have this nearest one or the smallest one. So up, uh, after here, what do you do? This will be 8. We divide by our 4. Somebody is saying the answer is 2. Very good. 
doesn't give a remainder. Okay? So finally we can say, therefore, 3 divided by 4, the answer is 2. And this is mod 5. Okay? Don't you think, you people, division in finite system is very simple? Depending on the two methods so far, we have seen. Okay? Just watch. If you are to apply this method in the first example, uh, really, will you get the answer? Think and use it. F following the whole numbers that are equivalent to uh, in final seven. Uh, allow me to give you the third example here. Whereby they are telling us, simplify. Simplify 1 divided by 5. Uh, and this is equal to dash finite. This time the finite, they are giving us 6. How do you go about that? Should we use equivalent whole numbers? Should we use calculation method? Choose. Allow me to choose, I mean to take uh, equivalent. If I'm to take equivalent whole numbers, I said now this time the first one will be 1. The next is 1 plus 6 and you get 7. But what am I looking for? I'm looking for the multiple of 5. A number, if I continue adding, the number you'll get that it can divide 5 completely, no remainder. If I'm to use the method of equivalent whole numbers that can be divided by 5 this time, not divided by 4. Here it was divided by 4, so here it will be divided by 5. What about 7 plus 6? Somebody saying 13. Okay? Have we got any? Have we got any multiple five? Some are saying no. Hey, teacher, where will it end? Let's move. Then 13, again plus six. Some are saying 19. Good. Hey, but the equivalent number is nowhere to be seen. Then 19 plus six. Some are saying 25. Again, nowhere to be seen. Oh, somebody has already seen something here. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I have said this one does not stop you from continuing. You can continue. Then after you come back and look for the list, the smallest. So we can again add five. Some the, I mean six, we get 31. I said they can continue. But as long as we have already seen a multiple of five, in other words, a number, a whole number, that will divide five completely. Somebody saying I've already seen it. Have you highlighted it? Somebody saying 25. What do you do to the 25? Come back here. So we shall have our 25. And we divide it by our divisor. And somebody saying the answer still gives you 5. Well, it has not given any remainder. So how do you finalize this one? We shall say 1 divided by 5. See, the answer will be 5. And which finite have we, have we been dealing with is finite 6. Okay? A good child will just say, this is my final answer, you underline with a smile. Because you have been watching, you have been following what the teacher is doing. Allow me to give you the last example of which I will still use the first method. I want you to compare the two. But somebody is asking himself, teacher, what about the dial on this side? Does it work? Yes, it does. But for today, we shall not involve it. Next time, I will you'll answer. Even the dial can be used. How can it be used? We can use what we call repeated subtraction. In that case, you'll try it over there. The next time, I'll tell you how it works. If I take the last example in this case, uh, let's have uh, two divided by four. Mod, the mod is five. I want you to observe how I change mod, finite, what? Remember from the beginning we said these things are the same. 
we can use uh, even clock, we can use mod from the word modular, we can also use uh, what you call finite. So I'm now going back to use the same method I use on number one. If we are to divide this, remember this division, as I've said, division in finite system. How do you go about this? We said this is smaller than that. So still, we are going to add 2 plus 5 until we get the multiple of 4. A number which will divide 4 completely. So you can just say it is 2 plus 5. Will it give you a multiple of 4? Somebody saying no. So what should we do? We continue. 2 plus 5, that is 7. 7 plus 5. Give me the answer. 12. Can 12 be a multiple of 4? Yes. That means this one can be divisible by 4. And this is mod 5. So somebody saying this is 12. We divide by 4. What is your answer? Let's first say it is mod 7. I mean mod 5. So this will give us 3. And this is mod 5. Finally, how do you present it? You just say, if I have 2 divided by 4, my answer this time is 3, and this is mod 5. Okay? Hope it has been the best. As I told you before, in this case, division becomes the simplest in terms of finite system. Very simple. Next time I know, I will involve what you call the dial. Those who have been asking, try it. You will see that even the dial works in this case. How does it work? By using repeated subtraction. You, as you just subtract going back. Okay? Uh, I want to thank you, those who have been watching and listening. Hope you saw how I've been changing the methods. We had the method of calculation and the method of using uh, equivalent whole numbers in a given, in a given divisor. In a given divisor. In a given divisor. In the given divisor. In the given divisor. Okay? Thank you for listening. And the next, you are going to have an activity. Please uh, try to answer very well following the examples I've given you. Thank you for listening.